Okay. So we got a gas valve. First things first, make sure we hit the switch. Second, turn off your gas. What I'm going to do here. I'm going to check the literature. This is a 102837-01. I'm going to replace it with one of these universal VR8345Ms. Let's check our actual literature here. S1248. VR8215. Alright, so I managed to nab right gas valve this one wasn't going to cut it it's just too tall off and that leaves us with just the gas valve and this pipe here Usually you should be able to get it off without having to take the whole manifold off. So, let's see.
that on there tight. Perfect. Okay. So you always want to make sure you get the right, there's an arrow showing the direction of the gas flow. So going into the manifold. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and get this on first. Up is super important. So it creates a nice quality seal. I'm just going to put this on first. Oh, 
know it's about time for the gas show up and I just have to worry about twisting that on. We'll be good to go. Perfect. Pump that through here. hand tighten it as tight as it'll go. Time to start ratcheting down on it. You could potentially cross thread something. Switches are all connected still. If you want to go ahead and purge this, purge the air from the line. Oh, ouch. Metal spinner. Fittings.
I should do it. See what happens. Voila. So I'm going to want to go ahead now and just check my um, gas pressure on the manifold side. Make sure we're getting putting out the proper um, three and a half inches of water column. Um, but other than that, we're good to go. Just check my uh, fittings. I like to use this, believe it or not, this is a lot more sensitive than bubbles. Um, sometimes this will sniff stuff the bubbles won't even bubble out. So. Um, Alrighty. That was an easy one for today. So let me know what you think. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.